we are going to auto acquire some points. So using the plus key on my keyboard, I'm going to zoom into the map and look for areas of interest. So by left clicking and holding down, I can drag the map to wherever I want at this higher zoom. So I'm going to look at the cell junctions between two cells. So in my navigator window, I'm going to add points by clicking add points and then as I click on a specific location it will add a model point for me. Here's an area maybe, this junction, uh, maybe that's a junction, this junction, I think here and here and that's it. So now I can say stop adding. Now that I have these points I have to set up my imaging parameters so I'll just go to an area somewhere so we'll click here to get the green cross say go to marker and now I want to set up what kind of image I want to take so I'm going to increase the mag let's see what 15,000 looks like I'm going to take a trial image because it's a fast picture and that's the kind of image I would see and I think that's a little too high mag so I'm just going to click down one more this looks pretty good now what I want to do is set up my record so I say set up and my record was at bin by 4 for mapping but now I want it to be bin by 2 and I want to increase the image um, exposure time as well as drift settling so now I can take a record image and see what this looks like. Okay, so here's our my final image and I'm going to look at the counts value here and on our camera I want my counts to be around 8500. So to see what the average counts between the black and white are I can go to process uh, min max mean and in here it'll tell me my average counts were only 5300 which isn't quite bright enough so I'm going to go ahead and increase my beam take a new record image and this time I'm just going to use the hotkey and now I'm much closer to 8000 counts so we have that and now we need to set focus levels so right now my defocus target is just below focus and that's good that's what I want so I'm just going to autofocus this will take a series of three images and when we look in the um, log window it tells us what the defocus was and then the drift at that particular place so now that we're basically in focus, I'm going to reset my defocus so I can always get back when I need to. Okay, so here's my record image. And now we need to open a file. So I said open new, say okay, and I'm going to call this auto acquire demo.st. So we go back to the navigator box here and we make this an acquire point and you'll see that it adds an A to each position. Okay so now I have points 5 through 11 are going to be acquire points so I go back to navigator and say acquire at points. Now I can do all kinds of things. So one of the things I definitely want to do is I want to autofocus before each image and I want to realign to item and what this means is that it's going to try and take a series of images that recenters exactly what you want in the image and the reason you have to do this is because there's a lot of backlash and so if you don't do this you'll just kind of get near it but not exactly at it and so what we want to do is just acquire and save an image and then at the end you can have it close the column valves which I'm not going to do or even send you an email in case you want to leave the room so we say go and now it's going to go to position 5 go down to low mag at the same mag that you took your map the MMM map take a series of images recenter it displays all the information in the log window here then it's going to go high up in mag autofocus and take a record image and save it okay uh, 
all of the areas have been acquired. You'll see in the navigator box all the A's have left. We have to say yes, okay, all areas are required. And in the log window there's information about the shift it required to get to each position and then it saved item number 8 with label 9 at z equals 4. So all the information is in your log file.